Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Yeah. Hello everyone. Mario from Last of Us 4 here, and welcome back to another episode of Mario from Last of Us 4 Reviews. And what are we reviewing today? Well, today we are reviewing one of the best stop motion animated kids show of all time. And that is Bob the Builder. Now, Bob the Builder is a stop motion animated kids series that made its first episode in 1999 and made its last episode in this case of the original series in 2011 or 2012 the series of revolves around a construction worker named bob who's got a team of talking machine and his working partner wendy who starts working on jobs in later episodes and they manage to get the jobs done, even though there are a couple of um, disasters. But we'll talk about that later. Now, we are going to talk about my history with the show. So, when I first discovered the show, I probably watched it on a couple of VHS tapes or DVDs of mine. Or maybe I must have like watched it a couple of times on CBBS. It's either one of those things I just mentioned. After I've watched one of the episodes on the VHS tapes, I was absolutely hooked into the show. And I think I know what may have got me so hooked. It's because of the stop motion animation in season one. I'm not kidding when I say this, but... I absolutely love the stop motion in the original series and Project Build It. And the same for, like, well, the entire stop motion era of this show. Now, we're here to talk about my favourite characters from this show. And some of you are curious who my favourite characters are. Well, it would have to be Bob himself, Spud... And Lofty. Lofty is an interesting one. Which I will talk about Lofty later. But we'll just talk about why I like Bob as a character. Now, the reason why I like Bob as a character is because of how hard working he is. And also, um, he teaches safety lessons to characters like when he says to Bud, he says something like, you should never play in your road, so Bob is pretty much like a mature character and pretty much the only one that ever appears in every episode. Uh, yeah, that's all i got to say about Bob. I'm going to talk about Spud next. Now, the reason why I like Spud as a character, well, to tell you the truth, as a kid, I actually found Spud hilarious. Well, maybe not hilarious in the episode of the rest of the week. Spud was just an absolute episode, so. Apart from that episode, Spud's hilarious. And he always gets up to, like, tricks. And he do does get punished if he does the normal thing, like cleaning stuff or doing some jobs. Even though he does want to like help at times. Now, now we're getting to why I like Lofty as a character. And no one can blame me for saying this, but it's because of how relatable he is. Because like Lofty, I'm too scared of heights and. I just find it a nice character to relate to. 
So, I think I've just theorized that Lofty may have autism. I could be wrong, but that's just what I personally think. So, yeah. I really like Lofty as a character because of how related he is. He's a bit like me. And you do feel sorry for him if um, he gets a bit scared or gets upset and all that. So yeah, I actually really like Lofty as a character. Now, I am aware that this show actually got some movies. Well, not really movies, but they're more like feature length specials. That's what they sh should be called. But... I will give my detailed opinion on each of these movies if I do them as separate reviews. So, yeah. I do like all of them, but my detailed opinion will, on these movies will come soon whenever I review one each. So, for example, if I want to review A Christmas to Remember, I'm going to do that as a separate review. Then Knights of Canterlot, Built to be Wild, Snowed Under, Race to the Finish. Also, an interesting fact, but did you know that the theme song, Can We Fix It, was number one in the Christmas chart in 2000? No? I didn't know that. Well, I, well, I did know that, but I'm pretty sure some of you actually knew, probably knew as well, but this is for people who's actually not knew about this before. And I actually think it's a really good achievement that the show actually became... Christmas number one in the 2000s. So, like, Bob the Builder actually done pretty well in the charts. Now, we are going to, like, say my thoughts on all of the series. And, alright, let's get the obvious one out of the way. 2015 reboot series. Awful. Next! Original series. Great start to the show's existence. Project Build It. An awesome continuation to the original series. Ready Steady Build. It was okay. But I am not really too fond of the CGI animation. I know it's the first time, but yeah, that's just my opinion. Overall, I actually think Bob the Builder is such a great show. With great characters, great animation, especially in the original series of Project Builder. Great writing, great stories. I just really like everything about it. So, the question was that I've had for this entire review video. Can I review it? Yes, I can. And that's all i got to say about this in this review video. I hope you all enjoyed it. May not be the best review video I've done, but at least I gave it a go and I'm doing this for fun. So, all I like to say is thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye. And I know this is late, but happy 25th anniversary, Bob the Builder. I know you can fix it for another 30 years.